guys and welcome to part 16 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On this part we are going to learn how to add bootstrap using power.json file. So far we have managed to get some data to our browser, but they look really ugly. To make it look better we need to add some styles to our page. Bootstrap is the front-end framework which we are going to use for designing this project. To add bootstrap to our project we either use nugget packages or we could add it using the power.json file. On this project we are going to add it using bower.json file. To use bower we first need to add bower.json file to our project. So we are going to add an item and select bower configuration file. To add bootstrap on the dependencies section simply type bootstrap and select the latest version. Save the file and you will see that on the dependencies section a restoring has been started. After it's finished, inside the dependencies section you will see a Bower folder and inside the Bower folder you will see the bootstrap which we just installed. Except the bootstrap, let us add some images as well. So inside the www root folder, add a new folder named images. I'm going to copy paste the images from my desktop and will provide a link down below on the description section for you to get them. So here I have pasted three images and for customized CSS we create a new folder which we name content. Inside the content folder we add a new CSS file which we name site.css. I'm going to copy paste the CSS from my GitHub repository and provide for you a link down below on the description section. Now let's go to layout.csharp HTML file and add references to the libraries we just added. And we save the file. And let us make a small change on the render div body as well. Let us change the way a single drink is rendered by pasting some bootstrap code, which is pretty simple, and then run the application to check the result. We see that the view now has started to look like the site that we are going to create. This is all for this part. And next we are going to learn how to add data using Entity Framework Core. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.